Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review the movie American History X. I've, I've never seen it before. I've heard lots about it. And I thought I'd see it because I know uh, my good, dear, and sweet friend Nanya asked if I could review this one. She said it's really good. I heard nothing but good things about this movie. I never, I just never got around to watching it. Uh, my dad might have watched it. Uh, I don't remember. I never, I never got around to watch it. Now, I know Ed Norton. Ed Norton! Um, he's a really good actor, and he's the one that stars in this. And because I remember seeing his very first movie at the Dollar Theater was uh, Primal Fear, which he got nominated for Academy Award. Can't remember if he won it or not, you know. Anyways, um, this all had Edward Furlong, but Stacy Keach, uh, Fal Fluke of Bal Balok, that one girl from the craft, Fluke Balok, or whatever her name is. I, I, mispronounced her name, but you don't see her anymore, just like you don't see uh, Daphne Zunig anymore. You don't see either one of them anymore. Uh, the guy, the big guy from My Name is Earl's in it, uh, why is that Beverly Angela, I think? For, I think I, okay. Well, anyways, um, and it revolves around you know, Ed Norton and some of his got involved in, like, there's a neo-Nazi movement where they're at in, uh, Venice Beach, right? Including the whole counterculture and stuff like that, too. You see him at <coughs> some meetings and stuff like that where Stacey Keach is like the leader. Group. Well, anyways, he was big into that and something happened at the beginning and then, like, someone broke into his truck and he went, um, everyone for a long time told him, you know, his son, I mean, his son, his brother told him, everyone for a long played the younger brother, told Ed Norton, and he goes out, he beats up the one guy. No, he shoots the one guy, and then he tells the guy to put his teeth on the curb, and he stomps his head, and that, that, hurt, that hurt my teeth right there. And then he goes to jail, involuntary manslaughter, I think. And he stays in jail for like three years. He finally let him out on parole and uh, talks about his like life, his three years in prison and stuff, and then he talks about his change of heart. He wanted to be just go to straight and there. He don't want to be... Uh, no, skinhead no more. neo Nazi no more. And his son was get I mean, his brother was getting more and more into the Edward Furlong character. He's trying to get him out of it. And it's a really, really good story. Good. Uh, I know. I don't know if we got an honor for best pitch. It might have. I don't remember. But great screenwriting. Uh, right, everything. It's a really good movie. I really liked it. Uh, tragic ending. Um, it's really good. I'm glad I finally saw it. Uh, I mean, in in the uh, screenplay is fantastic. There's no really easy, easy explanations given or anything like that. You know, no one's wrong. But I mean, you know, they uh, present it in a, in a solid fashion. It's a really good movie. Um, I give it like I give it a ten out of ten stars. I mean, ten. Out, I give it a ten out of ten. I don't do the stars. I mean, I used to do a star rating system. I remember when I, I mean, I just do everything on uh, 0 through 10 scale now. That's why I do it now. But back then, when I rated movies, I remember getting it from, they had like the old, uh, we used to get the old Sunday paper. And we. Ne I never bought TV Guide. I never bought official TV Guide magazine until I think once or twice when I was in Fort Detrick, Maryland. Right? I think about like one or two of them, just so I know what's on. I uh, usually what I do was I would get the, we would get the Sunday paper, and they have like this, uh, like this low budget TV guy that you know was local that was in there, just all black and white. I remember getting that. And I remember the rating system, and that was, uh, I used to go by the four star rating system, you know. It went to like uh, anywhere from like. Uh, one star is poor. One and a half stars is uh one and a half stars is um fair. Two stars is not bad. Two and a half stars is good. Three stars is very good. Three and a half stars is excellent. Four stars is outstanding. That's how it used to be. 
They never had like a half a star. Or they never had no star. No star is like really, really lousy. It's one one star or four stars. So, I mean, I really like this movie. I, I mean, if I would give it, I'd give it a four stars, I bet. i give it a 10 out of 10. Hope you like this review, Nanya. Uh, I got to do some other... Some other people recommend some movies I got to do reviews for, too, eventually. So I hope you like this review, everybody. Till next time, please, take care of my lead. And see if the sound's good on. All right, Darren.